Matthew Seltzer, one of our readers at IDB, sent us this really cool tip that actually plays off of our earlier multitasking tutorial uh, to show you how to get more out of Apple's multitasking. You can see I'm, I'm typing a document here in Pages right now. And I'm composing this document with a Bluetooth keyboard that is obviously connected wirelessly to my iPad Air. So I'm going to open up the App Switcher. And the App Switcher opens, but like I said in the earlier tutorial, you don't lose focus from your primary app that you had open when you switch. So that means I can still type with the App Switcher open as you see right here. Actually, it's kind of small print there. So um, you see I'm typing. You may not be able to make that out exactly. Uh, right now, what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and just make sure that we type using the large print title text. There we go. All right, so give me one second. All right, so I'm typing using the title text so you can see what I'm actually typing. And you can see I can still type even though the app switcher is open. So you may be thinking to yourself, Jeff, why is this useful? Well, if you if you read our earlier tutorial, you know that I'm a big proponent of Apple's new multitasking, taking advantage of the ability to look at other apps while your app switcher is open. So for instance, if I'm transcribing something from uh, the App Store, the release notes. I can look at those release notes and actually just start typing while this is displayed on the screen. So even though I can't even see pages right now, I can still type right now in the pages as long as I don't switch from pages completely. And there's actually an email from Matthew Seltzer who gave us this tip about the uh, Bluetooth wireless keyboard. So I am typing right now. And you can see right there that what I typed in appears right in pages, even though I wasn't even viewing pages. So I know, yes, this isn't true multitasking in the sense that you you have two apps running side by side, but if you have a Bluetooth keyboard, this is something that you should be aware of, uh, that you can look at other apps that are open just by invoking the app switcher, and you can continue typing in whatever Word app that you're using, whatever word processor, whatever app that you can type in, you can do so using a Bluetooth keyboard. So I hope this was able to help you out, give you some extra tips on getting more out of the iOS 7 app switcher. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.